Hi golfers and welcome to this week's newsletter. Um, this week I really wanted to try and go through a bit of an old age uh, problem of many golfers, uh, but I don't think you can ever visit it too many times in trying to get rid of this um, age old problem uh, of you know coming over the top of a, of a swing over a shot, um, you know, swinging out to win, uh, getting steep on it, whatever you want to call it, when the club head is traveling too far to the left for impact imparting clockwise spin for a right hander on, on the golf ball and causing the ball to obviously uh, be lost to the right hand side of the golf course or the trees um, and obviously we need to make sure that the setup is correct that the grip is fairly neutral uh, and the alignment and the ball position is you know square parallel and the ball position situated in the correct position for that particular club but just from a body mechanical movement point of view. Just wanted to try and give you a simple drill that you can do against your wall at home. Uh, you might want to use an old club for this, if that is the case, or an old shaft with a broken off head. Uh, but it's a simple drill that really helps uh, find um, the correct backswing and therefore the correct path of the downswing. So here we go. So what I recommend is getting yourself about six, eight, 10 inches away from the wall uh, as you set up to your imaginary golf ball on the floor First of all, trying to make sure that you don't follow the um, normal cause of an over the top, over the top position uh, from the top of the backswing, which is generally that the club comes in, and as you can see, I'm going into the net here, the club comes forcibly inside, and as it reaches the top of the backswing, it continues on that loop and then comes over. So the club goes in, up, and over, is generally the pattern the club will follow once that club gets round you, behind you too soon. So what I suggest is again, setting yourself just a nice distance, six, eight, 10 inches away from the, from the ball with your backside. Taking the club away, trying to reach the top of the back so we're pretty much without touching the wall. But as you start down to change that old path of this, we want to try and make sure we really drop that club into the wall. Yeah, you can see how it's, changing the direction of the path more inside on the way down okay very simple very quick but very very practical if you can spend five minutes a day morning morning and evening setting yourself up club away miss the ball on the way back drop the club head into that on the way down and that really gives us a nice shallow um, shaft angle on the way down Characteristics of a slice will be you'll see the club shaft get very vertical on the way down and very steep into impact and across the target line. Okay, so keep the club away from the wall on the way back, drop the club head into the wall on the way down. Better still if it's a fence or a netting because then you don't completely wreck a club that you might have. Um, and that will really help get the start of the downswing correct again, but also let's make sure the grip, ball position, and your alignment when you do go out and hit some shots after using this drill are nice and neutral and correct. Okay, hope that helps. Spring is just around the corner. Keep a smile on your face and uh, we'll hopefully see you, see you at the golf club fairly soon. Many thanks.